Hello everyone, today I'm here to announce a big thing that is going to happen to Citadel Forge with Fire and it's coming really 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 soon, the 3rd of February to this game. That is a new expansion, Balrog's Revenge, the Spirits of Ambrose is the name of this expansion coming really soon to the game. And I can say that it is more of a big game update in a way of saying. And because it's just going to bring new stuff to the game, but it's called pretty much a new expansion because it brings a new map and new things uh, that the developers really didn't specify much. We have a few leaks about it. Um, so um, it's going to be added to Citadel and it's for free for whoever owns the game. In it will be, uh, they will be having the chance of playing on this new expansion for free, which is awesome, okay? And in order to celebrate uh, the new expansion that is coming out the 3rd of February, okay, day 3, the developers decided to launch an event on Steam, Steam Free Weekend, um, in order for you to give a try to the game between day 3 and day 8. Okay, so it's a very, very long weekend. Let's say for almost a week you are able to try the game for free on Steam, on the PC platform, between day 3 and day 8. Uh, just in case you are going to enjoy the game after the trial, you can always purchase or, um, <laughs> you know, participate on this giveaway I'm doing today, alright? So this giveaway, I'm ha I have a couple of keys to offer, courtesy of the developers, thank you for that, by the way. Um, so I'm giving away these keys from now on until day 8. You are able to participate on this giveaway until day 8, so until the end of the free weekend, long weekend. Uh, so for doing this, um, to be able to apply for this giveaway, all you have to do is to click down below on the link of this video description and then follow the steps in order for you to be able to apply to win a key. And the winners will be announced on the site, on that site down below, and then contacted later on the same day they will be announced in order for me to provide them the keys, okay? Uh, so I want to tell you that this expansion is going to launch for the consoles later, okay? Do not worry console players because you will also have access to this expansion, however, it's go... <coughs> Sorry, don't worry it's going to launch in a few more weeks, okay, 3-4 weeks, and it's going to be out for you as well. The reason why it takes longer to come out for consoles, I suppose, it's because uh, patches are easily in faster than for the pl PC platform, and uh, the game itself was designed for the PC first, okay, and later for consoles, uh, so... Uh, things get patched and tested faster on the PC first, okay? And don't forget about the approval times, so it takes a little longer for consoles. So I'm hoping this new expansion not only brings back old players, because I'm actually it's a great timing for me to come back to the game. I was thinking a while ago to, to come back to it, but now it's a great time. But also to bring new players in, because this game deserves much more attention than it uh, uh, have since the beginning. Um, I believe that many people never heard about Citadel Forge with Fire, some people have, um, but I hope uh, this uh, new expansion and the free weekend itself makes the game stand out a little bit more. Alright, um, and I really like to play the game in the past, I've played most of the time uh, during the early access stage, I've played uh, a little bit after the game got fully released, and I was really happy about the fact that the game got fully released, and seeing that they still are working actively on the game, 
uh, makes everything better I eventually passed from the multiplayer mode to single player for a couple of reasons but that happens and I prefer to play eventually on single player because I don't have m much uh, patience or time anymore to play on multiplayer and I prefer not to worry much about my, my stuff so I prefer to play on single player anyway um, at this point um, and yes, to see the progress, um, it, w it was cool uh, at a point. I can tell that the team behind the game, uh, or eventually who's been communicating with people, has been always very welcoming uh, towards the game community, which is a plus. At least I cannot complain. And just in case you want to keep up with their studios and this game updates and news they are also they developed actually other games like uh, slender and valley all right and probably in the future will also develop more games you can always uh, follow them um, with uh, their official accounts, Blue Isle Studios, uh, on Twitter, and also if you want to keep updates uh, with this game news, you can also follow the other account uh, of Citadel Forge with Fire on Twitter as well, if you don't use that platform at all. Um, you can always use the Discord, um, if you don't use the Discord, they have Facebook and Instagram. Uh, so I'm showing here on the screen the official account, Twitter accounts, and linking down below the server link on the video description, okay, for the Discord server as well with their Facebook and Instagram social media accounts and uh, the Facebook page for... Uh, <laughs> the Facebook page, no, the Steam page of this game itself, okay? Where you can always um, follow the news uh, of all of the game itself for any possible news incoming or past news and update, patch news, whatever. If you are really interested in this game, okay? So yes, exactly. So about this expansion, there were a few rumors already last year at least. I knew already about that there will be a new map incoming, okay? Uh, so you can even check the um, fall uh, the fall world map back in September 2020 to see them mentioning something about a brand new world back then and uh, the way they talked about uh, will mean that this new world um, sounded kind of like dangerous okay uh, we can see that the new map uh, the new map, I, I mean the um, the old map Ignos, that is pretty much the main, the only map existing in this game, uh, was already kind of dangerous, not the, the southern area, the, the started area was the less dangerous, okay, the easiest part of the map itself, but the more you'll move to the center and north of the map, uh, the harder it will be to survive, right? The more uh, threats you'd face um, when it comes to to see higher level enemies, okay? Uh, more threats and flying enemies and so on. Uh, so I wonder how challenging this new map will be, right? And um, I don't know much more about this expansion itself and the very few things they, they leaked on their social media accounts uh, show us some sort of psychedelic looking environment and this huge boss looking creature coming at you and the environment uh, itself looks pretty dangerous and, and in a completely different looking planet, okay? So everything is eventually uh, magic looking, okay? Um, so I don't know um, what to expect besides of um, threats. <laughs> Since this game, uh, this expansion is just coming out, if not just came out once you are watching this video, it's really good timing to get started once again. I'm really curious uh, about it. Okay, and for whoever doesn't know about this game, I'm gonna talk about it, um, about the aspects, uh, what it is, okay. 
Um, so for whoever doesn't know about it, it's an open world survival game that is mixed with the RPG genre aspects, okay? And it does also fit in the action and adventure aspects, categories, genre, whatever you want to call it. You can either play in single and multiplayer mode, in third or first person, that's up to you, okay? And what makes Citadel Forge with Fire a little different from a common survival game? are really the RPG elements and features that it contains and how strongly is ba based it is in the magical powers the character holds, alright? Um, so, I remember other games eventually where you can use magic to defend yourself from enemies, to heal yourself, etc, etc. And you have this skill unlocking and um, eventually when you loot enemy corpses and you find treasures through the map you can obtain more things more items and gear and you can progress and uh through leveling up um well citadel as that's that's those aspects as well that uh, eventually uh, remind you of those games that probably you've played in the past, okay? Which is kind of cool to mix uh, those aspects with the survival game aspects. In the survival game, uh, some games don't have the, the leveling up um, system, others do have, where you have to gain experience in order to make your character stronger. So, Citadel Forge with Fire has it all, okay? Which is cool, which is cool because it gives you a reason uh, to keep playing and to have something else to do besides of going out and explore the map okay and when you think the map is empty it's not empty you just have to go further and look for stuff to do okay but in the end you have to to do what a survival game tells you to do to go out explore and defend yourself and then eventually build a base taming animals and in the end you need to get to go a little creative but there's so much stuff to do in the process and so much loot to pick up that you will eventually spend several hours doing all the stuff okay and the more you progress the slower it will be for you to level up which is always cool and fun uh, to go through all the process okay and that's what I like it's to keep myself busy okay and uh, so you don't really have to worry about two things that kind of annoying on the survival games which is drinking or eating in this game actually you do <laughs> to you do have to eat but not because your character will feel angry it's to heal yourself, but there are other ways of healing yourself by drinking potions, okay? And also to restore mana, uh, there are a few ways of restoring those and you can also restore um, mana through the time or you have mana and health pools through the map, okay? And in specific places, alright? So that's cool, yeah. Um, but taking care of your health and mana exactly is something you, you, that you should keep an eye through your journey so pay attention to that okay so yes consuming diverse things will help you surviving through your f travels and fights never forget to bring with you something in your inventory a few things will cons make you consume faster the mana and you eventually almost get you killed but the more you evolve your character the more the bigger you have uh, the um, the health pools and stamina bars uh, you know increasing so yes um the the tougher you get okay so the more tough you get yeah so you will eventually learn spells and be able to get diverse items like a wand, staff, gauntlets and other weapons which you can implement different spells on, okay? You will be learning 
um, a diverse variety of spells and pick up things that will allow you to, to get a diverse variety of spells that you can eventually choose uh, what to implement on those items that you will on those objects objects that you will, you will equip in your character to use for different purposes other than just attack enemies sometimes you will need to use those to to grab um, resources or to heal yourself or to run faster whatever um, the purpose may be you can use those later okay which is cool to have variety all right and uh, the crafting and building features are also part of this game because what is a survival game at times without these features there are survival games without the big building feature but the crafting thing is actually a strong thing when it comes to to this uh, types of games usually okay um, and it's really cool okay it's one of the things that um, is kind of uh, an old favorite I suppose and uh, these uh, features depend of the diverse resources that you will find through the map which you can transform into different materials there is a vast um, um, list of uh, items on the game which is cool and uh, there are just a couple of types of uh, different uh, building pieces there there is not much variety on that but the building pieces are pretty interesting actually and um, at, at cost of course uh, so what I advise to do is to craft a bunch of of materials building materials beforehand because this may be a long process okay and depending of which server you're playing on or if you are playing in a single player you can adjust the the modifiers okay um, in order for you to to gather resources or to craft things um, like uh, it depends of how slow or fast uh, things are happening uh, it can take a while for you to get a castle done, okay? So it takes hours, right? Uh, but things done fast may kind of be having the fun cut, but things too slow, uh, the grind may be too much at times, uh, but it's not impossible, uh, like far from that, alright? So it's pretty cool to see some of the builds that uh, the community uh, uh, did uh, so far. Uh, I've seen a bunch of screenshots already and some of them are really cool. Uh, so also you can create alliances with other players in Citadel and create a kingdom together with others, share your stuff um, and so on, playing in co-op. Uh, which is good uh, for this game, um, co-op play is cool. Um, I'm not a fan of the PvP on this game, but it's also a thing. Um, I like PvP, uh, but in more of the other games, um, I prefer the PvE aspect on this game, uh, because I find it really fun to do the combat uh, towards uh, the enemies. Um, there's a, a variety of enemies on this game and I find really fun attacking them. Something that the developers implemented in this game which I find useful, especially for new players, was the quest system, where there are NPCs in some parts of the map asking you to do a few things in exchange for experience points or even something else. Uh, it is a good way of leveling up uh, in the first levels and to keep you busy okay another reason for you to keep yourself busy on this game at times um, is the quests are the quests okay and you have uh, plenty NPCs uh, a few NPCs uh, in some points of interest um, you will find them at least around the south of the, the map at least the main map um, and uh, they will give you uh, a few tasks to do or to grab a few things to perform certain actions or to kill a certain amount of animals in, and then you have to come back to them 
uh, in exchange for uh, some experience points for maybe I don't remember but maybe items or something like that it's it's a good way to help you leveling up at least in the first levels and such uh, later they will um, provide you more specific lessons and more things okay uh, so this map um, is also a bunch of surprises for you from enemy camps to caves and even dungeons all right I really liked when they added the dungeons back then um, there are a couple of things that you must do in order to be able to enter on the dungeons if I remember the two features that make Citadel even more fun are the ability of flying as well with the creature taming feature. And flying makes everything much more fun and faster and safer, exactly. And at a cost eventually, but the more you evolve your character, the easier and faster will be for you to travel from one place to another. And of course, let's not forget about the fact that you have the fast traveling spots that you find through the map, by the way. Um, many people are not really fond of the fast traveling spots because they say that kind of ruin the immersion of the game. I don't fully disagree with them, they are kind of right. Uh, so the fast traveling spots have been usually um, an optional thing on games, usually, okay? you don't really have to use the fast traveling spots uh, one of the last games that i've played that have a fast traveling spots were uh, was die young if i if i'm not wrong i didn't really have to use them if i didn't want to i could go around the map um, but of course at the cost of my own time and the cost of facing threats through through the um, process through the map and it just saves up a bunch of time especially for a person that doesn't have a whole lot of time to to play the game but I do agree with the fact that um, it kind of makes things too easy at times for a person uh, but you find so you find the fast traveling too convenient <laughs> at times um, but yeah, it, it's a way to unlock uh, a few things in the map, but you don't really have to use those if you want, don't want uh, on this game too. Uh, so the flying ability, either with the broom or even with potions, uh, it's something really that you will find really, really useful and you are going to need especially for when you need to go up mountains in this map. Ignus, because there are a few mountains, a bunch of them on this game, and to fight uh, flying enemies, you have to use them. And even enemies that are uh, on the ground level, you will find the flying feature really, really useful. It will save your life a bunch of times, trust me. Also, taming creatures and having them as your pets is another cool feature of this game. Uh, even better, you can ride your pets, at least mostly of them. And not only to help uh, you traveling, of course, but also to help you defending yourself from enemies, okay? So you can take, um, you can tame and take your pets to... Um, to combat, okay, to your fights against enemies and um, uh, level up and go for a fight, uh, like for example, uh, riding a dragon, you are going to see how fun it can be. Of course, the, the taming feature is not uh, something exclusive to, to Citadel. You can see that in other games like Ark and other stuff, but it's such a cool feature implemented in this game. So I like the fact that Citadel has a bit of uh, many other uh, things, uh, many other types of games, which is great. Um, last but not least, there are Steam achievements to unlock, so that's all I have to say. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and have fun playing games or this game 
if you wish. Bye bye and see you later.